Good morning and welcome to uh, LL Creation Studio. My name is Linda and I've got a journal to share with you today. It's a hardback, uh, like a traveler's notebook uh, journal. It uh, is approximately four and a half by eight and a quarter. Her cover is a hard cover. It is out of Davy Board, uh, which is the professional uh, heavy board uh, for books made with you know to make books out of she is a gothic journal which is you know I like to make gothic journals and her name is Morticia and she has this beautiful uh, burnt edges that uh, she's decoupaged uh, or collaged, whatever, whichever way that you want to say it, onto the hand-painted uh, board, which is black and a uh, burgundy red color. And I do believe this is Screech Owl, uh, Yvonne, it's Screech Owl's uh, paper throughout. Uh, I will have it noted down below, just in case I make another mistake. Uh, I will make sure that it's her, her paper. And like I said, it is really, she is gorgeous. Her name is Marticia uh, from the Adams family. Uh, remember, I, I did Wednesday. I had a Gothic journal that I named Wednesday uh, a few weeks ago, I think, a week or so ago. And Wednesday is Marticia's daughter on the Adams family. And so this is going to be the mother of Wednesday. So this is Marticia. And she's got a cloth, uh, slightly rounded spine, and with the exposed... Okay, I'm back. That was my daughter calling. I thought that uh, she's leaving for lunch early today. I thought I had at least 30 more minutes. But anyway, let me go back to this. See all of the little blood spots? And then it's uh, the torn paper, and uh, it really looks worn, and she's just gorgeous. Uh, and she's got the rounded corners. And this is what she looks like here on the pages. All of the pages are deckled. Uh, it's a specially torn uh, page that looks like this. And it's, it's a deckled. And here is a closer look at the cover. She feels good in your hand. Her tie is uh, a black binding ribbon. And so let's take a look inside. And let me get her information here for you. She's 204 pages, so she's one of my larger journals. And inside here uh, will be this handmade little pocket journal that has the uh, pocket here uh, that, that you can carry. And she's got a little card in there. And she is painted just like the the board is underneath the decoupage. You can see the, the black and the red uh, thing. And then she has some of my, she's hand sewn down the center. And she's got all of this extra paper in here that has been hand torn, rounded corners. The cover has rounded corners. She's black here on the inside. And then she's got all this neat stuff that you can do bullet journaling or keep stuff in. So I mean a lot of pages. And she'll just be here in the front. And, and this is her or it or whatever. And I'll put it right there. So here on the inside you've got the black and she has a little bit of the stickles which is a little glittery going throughout. And here is a pocket. And uh, she's got this uh, I don't know this is probably, uh, it came in the kit, I think, because it has the exact color on the edges uh, that this one does. And here is the front, and it's called Gothic Ruby. And you can see all of the pages are deckled. And then it's been edged in walnut stain. So it has that really good Gothic feel, the black and, the, and that. And then on, uh, let's take a tour through. And then she's got 
staining and then she's got this color the floral and then this is a little tuck duck, tuck point little tuck area that is the same coloration as the covers and here is a tuck point with a card and she has the uh, torn and then she has a fancy cut edges no, oh, that's just for decoration. I was just making sure. And so all of the, the not all of, but most of the back pages have been stained uh, with a little bit of the walnut stain that's on the edges throughout. Uh, I, I didn't want that much white white in here uh, because that is not the mood that I was trying to s set for her. And then here you have a writing spot that you can just lift up and then you put it back down. And it's this black antique chandelier. Some nice celery green uh, mixed media paper. It's been coffee stained. And then you got a pocket with a little card. And the pocket has the fancy corners all the way around. This is one of the uh, dividers that has a pocket attached, and you can put something on that back side. Now this is uh, parchment paper that I coffee stained, and I just uh, instead of cutting it, I made a pocket out of it. And since it's such a thin piece of paper, it didn't want to stick, so I'll be sending it with this big clip. To hold whatever you want to put in there. And this is a big pocket here. And we have the blood rose there. This is her line paper, which is the ruby color. And then here is a pocket, uh, an envelope, I'm sorry, an envelope that I've made, handmade, and it has the skull and a crow on it here. Beautiful artwork in this paper. This is on there. And here's more of the parchment paper with a, a place to keep something in. A pocket. Another pocket and a writing area. Another pocket with a... It is a... A bunch of skull heads there. A writing area. And this is the end of the first signature. And then we're beginning the, the second one. And we have another pocket with a red rose. A very distressed pocket. And I think this says 1931 on it. And it has this beautiful uh, ruby colors throughout. And then another pocket and a writing space. See the edges on this, the deckled edges? It is so pretty. Thought it would just fit this theme totally. Totally, totally. And then we have some ruby colored ledger paper that we printed, made ourselves. And then another pocket with the uh, skulls, faces, and then you've got the blood rose here pocket on the black, then you've got another pocket here, another pocket,
here is an old dictionary page, and uh, it is uh, it must be this side. Is the Gothic? Uh, I tore out the page that has the Gothic, and then another hand-made uh, envelope um, that has this Gothic woman and a skull on the back here. And then another, uh, the other dictionary page that has the, the rest of the term definition of Gothic, and it went into the Gothic uh, architecture, which I would love to do one. I've been collecting photos of a Gothic, all of the gorgeous, gorgeous Gothic architecture. And one of these days, I'm going to be doing a journal with that. And here is a torn piece of paper that's been edged out like it's burned, and it is a pocket. So I wanted something a little bit different there, and you can write on it. And then you have your ruby ledger paper. And like I said, you have the the walnut stain intermittently on these pages. Then here's rest in peace, tombstone, and a writing place that's trimmed in the gothic color, in the ruby color. And then you have a pocket here that has gothic ruby on it. And it's on, and you can put your name here or whatever you want to add to the top here in this label area. Another lined area. And then another really pretty pocket area right there. This is attached to the page where this is not. So it's like a little folder here that you open up and you can write in. And then close it back. And then it's also a pocket here. And I think a pocket here. Right, right. Look at this beautiful paper, the way that she edged it and everything. It's just, she always does great work. And then we have a large uh, pocket here that you can add anything to. So there's a lot of little neat things going on inside this journal that once you get it, that you'll discover yourself. Pocket. Pocket. And then this is the black paper that is crafted on this side that you can write on. On the parchment paper. See, look at the rubies that she put into the, the paper. Another handmade envelope. Um, these are things that I got off of the uh, internet. Uh, and this is a really crazy gothic looking uh, mushroom type of thing. I love the look and feel of this journal. It's a uh, I think one of my best gothic ones that I've done. And here's another big envelope here. Look at that. Her artwork is just fabulous. And here's a pocket and a writing spot that you just tuck right down there. pocket. And here's another one of her pages that I, I thought really nice. And that's another big pocket. You can write on this side what all you put down in there. Did another one of these. I liked it so well. I did another one. Uh, it's a little 
journaling card and then a pocket on both sides there's a pocket here where my thumb is and here and then you would just you know write in there and then close it pocket this is where the dictionary page was talking about the gothic architecture here Another handmade envelope. Uh, you have the skulls and the thing on the back, but it's all the right colors and it's edged all the way around, all of them were. I have been uh, commissioned to do some Gothic artwork, big artwork. And I'll be working on that in the right now. Really, I'm uh, laying out the the canvases. Uh, they're quite large, and they like the journals. But then, uh, but then they wanted three pieces of artwork to go over their fireplace. So I will be doing that in the very near future. And here's another big pocket. Hidden. And here is the back, which is the cemetery. Um, and on the front was uh, this beautiful architectural, Gothic architectural, which I took out of the, the collection that I'm collecting now for hopefully the next journal that I do will entail this throughout. Uh, but anyway, this is uh, Morticia and she is Gothic Ruby. Uh, that's her colors throughout and she is one of the prettiest Gothic journals that I have done. And she's hardcover, so she's like a book. She's got the slightly rounded uh, spine. Here you can see that, that it's just like a book in your hand and it has the journal uh, in the print here and some red ruby roses and then this is like a a mausoleum entrance uh, is what I envision this of being uh, the, the stonework of a mausoleum and so if you like it uh, let me know down below and let me know what you think about uh, Marticia and she will be on my Etsy site for you to look at uh, with 10 more pages uh, sometimes this afternoon. And I uh, hope that you liked her. I really had fun making her. Uh, and so thanks for watching. Bye-bye.